heard him was referred um, by someone who was spotting my mum um, and at that time he was awaiting an assessment for ADHD but had been on that list for quite a long time. Um, school were not maybe acknowledging his needs or the reasons for maybe some behaviour choices or his inability to regulate his emotions so that was causing some problems at school. One of Caden's main things that he highlighted as, as a concern as well as in the referral was that he was getting increasingly angry at home and at school and sort of if he had a bad day at school he brought that home and then if he'd had a bad night at home he then obviously wasn't set up in the right mindset for school. I think he just didn't feel like anyone understood him or and he didn't he sort of understood what was going on inside himself and he were really able to say um what was happening but it was about there was no support to help him deal with what was happening. Before like we did all the stuff that we've done, I just felt like I'm you know when you're just staring and you have nothing to do and then it's like you're not feeling where you're sad and stuff and but then you know like emotionally sad. Yeah, it's like that. It became clear that um the ADHD referral that was away in CAMS and um, it had been sat there quite a while. Um so I spoke with Great Minds together and they support families who are going through assessment processes who just need that someone for the parent and the young person to talk to but who can then link in and give advice for school and, and to help that process be better. Hidden joined our boys group and um, we did sports, we played games, we did some work on emotions and feelings but as a group so it was good for the young people to learn from each other and hearing for young people talk about their feelings. I've met some friends, yeah. When I'm in Pale, um, when I take us on trips like, and I enjoyed it, it just calmed my day down for the rest of the day. I can't praise him enough because every day since going back from six week holidays, I had to restrain him at home. I had not had to um, go to school, so, you know, slowly but surely, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still the, but that's all part of who Caden is. Caden's ADHD assessment was fast-tracked by CAM, so he received the assessment and he was diagnosed with ADHD, um, which was amazing and he's going to open up a lot of doors to offer him the support he needs. I felt angry with my maths and stuff and now it's been test week this week and my maths are really bad right now. When I get a hard maths question now, I don't feel anything. I just don't make me feel angry anymore. I know what to do. So before I used to like give up as soon as I saw the question and now I ask for help. The feeling now is just like, come on, just try do it. Just try to think, even if you don't get it right, all you have to do is just um, guess what, what you think. From a child's point of view kind of thing, when they're being stressed out all the time like that, even though it's not not going to just go do activities all the time, but just that like, 10 minutes lot to see Becky or whoever it may be, helps them and helps the parent a lot. The difference in Caden from being referred up until now is he's a lot calmer. He's able to know when he's starting to feel as if his emotions, you know, he, be, he might be angry or upset and he's found things to do to calm them down. So he does a lot of art. He's regularly attending football. He's happier at school because school have the understanding things he needs some extra support with. It's helped that him and mum at home because they're, they're able to talk a lot more about what's going on and support each other that way.